Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee Break with Tara by Laura. I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm laughing at my hair. I'm laughing at my hair. <laughs> oh, well, you caught me. I haven't brushed my hair. It usually doesn't get up, stand up like that, but it's Monday. That's the good attitude. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Jackie. Hi, how are you? Today we're going to do a tarot reading for the week. And today I'm going to have I'm going to treat you to an oracle card by Lady Tamara von Forslum because we are doing the interview with her tonight. The interview with Lady Tamara will air tonight on Lunatic Mondays. So I figure let's use one of her oracle cards as well. So actually, you know what? Let's do that first. Let's pull one of the oracle cards first. Changing the order of things. So, let's see what are the oracle cards saying for us today. Monday, August 24th. And we have, ooh, my card. I love Athena. So we have Athena as our oracle for Monday morning. As you are the essence of the primal moving force of the universe, I am with you. Always and ready to do battle in the name of love and light. Only you were control. Now you are in control. <gasps> I love that. As you are the essence of the primal moving force of the universe, I am with you always. Be ready to do battle in the name of love and light. Once you were control, now you are in control. That's the message of Athena. For today, Monday, Monday, August 23rd. And um, yeah, I guess we are all calling to battle. Be an, active, be an activist in whichever way you can be an activist. Because things are not changing. A man was shot seven times in the back last night. A black man was shot in the back seven times last night. Uh, people in Wisconsin, be safe. But yeah, there's, there's going to be more uprising because we don't understand that all lives matter. But most importantly, that black lives matter. Let's see what the terror has to say for us today. I cannot believe people see a man being shot in the back seven times and they still think um, people are making this shit up. It's not something that is being made up. We all have to deconstruct and unlearn our um, biases and prejudices and racism. It can be unlearned and um, heal this world and stop killing black people, especially black men. Um, Mr. Jacob's still alive, but we don't know for how long. Anywho, back to tarot. Um, we have the card of the star, which coincidentally, thank you, goddess. It's a card of healing and hope. Boy, can we use some of that today. Yes, we want healing. We want hope. We want humanity to survive these times. I don't know which virus is worse, COVID or racism. They're, they're just as, about as lethal as each other. But 
the card of the star says, you know what, there's hope. Things might change. Uh, the systems will be destroyed, but there is time to reconstruct. And there is hope that things will get better. We will heal. We will heal. We will rise up. That is beautiful. The second card says, oh, by the way, we also have to focus. We have to put that energy into um, healing. Put that energy into finding creative ways to be active. Finding the energy to focus into the task at hand and concentrating that energy on one task at a time. And the two of them together, they, to me, just visually, even if you don't know tarot at all, you know, that's why artists and the artistry of tarot, the actual drawings and paintings is so important because even if you didn't, if you didn't know what the meaning of the cards is, look at this balance. You know, you have all the blues and water on one, and then you have all the red or orange and fire on the other one. And it's basically talking about balance and healing and rising up and finding that middle ground. You know, just without knowing terror, just by looking at the cards, you can see that they're not necessarily opposite but complementary to each other. Right? And then, of course, the stars saying, you know, it's time for healing, it's time to find hope, it's time to rise up, Is yes, uh, things were destroyed, the systems are down, but there is always hope to go up and find uh, new ways of doing things. And then the eight of ones, which is usually just about uh, a lot of energy concentrated and us really focusing on something um, and being very creative, finding ways to reach our goal. And of course, together is find the ways to reach our goal, which is healing and reconstruction. I mean, couldn't be more timely. And then pair with the Athena Oracle, I think it's very clear that we are Hopefully, at the cusp, and then the change is going to start happening. I really have faith that that's where we are. Um, don't ask me why. <laughs> uh, I've been having a lot of um, messages inside being a psychic and stuff like that. I think, of course, I'm speaking from a spiritual point of view. I don't have the word. I'm not the Messiah. I'm not channeling anything. I'm just saying... I have faith that we are at the cusp and the change will start happening soon. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, please catch me on Wednesday for Oracle for the week, Oracles for the week. Friday, learning the card of the day. And um, remember that I'm doing online readings. I'm also doing online Reiki. I offer a whole lot of other services, but right now because COVID, I am um, only concentrating on tarot and Reiki, but I also do, and it can be done at the distance, numerology, dream interpretation, spiritual consultation, and um, I guess that's it. That Those are the ones that can be done online. And um, support your local economies please <laughs> thank you for supporting me obviously all those services are now being offered at a discounted price and until we can see each other in person big hugs never forget that you are loved bye bye oh and listen to the podcast tonight lunatic mondays with lady tamara bye bye facebook igtv twitter instagram youtube <laughs> Bye.